Hello? Hey, uh, I've got a new release for Cody. Oh. Hi, Mr. YouTube. M Mr. Who are you Cody or not? I, I have your uh, three Sure, I could post another video for sure. Oh my <laughs> It'd be an God. honor. Do you want the food or not? Okay, I'm leave cool. Us out the door. Talk to you later. I, who? Who are okay. you talking? Oh, I will yeah. eat your food right you now. Up? I swear to God, I'll Wait, eat your food if you hang up on me. Wow, that was kind of crazy. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> he just texted me. Oh. He just called me a slur. Oh, my bad. It was the wrong number. Today, guys, we're going to go through accidental texts. This is, of course, we all suffer from this. We've all experienced it. You get a random incoming text message from a number that you don't have saved. And it's someone that's like, hey, Karen, uh, just confirming you're picking me up from the airport tomorrow. And you're like, yeah, <laughs> you know, I can't help myself. Honestly, I can't. Every time I get one of those, I'm just like, yeah, I just confirm it. Or like, I just start some shit, you know, I don't do that. My friends do. I wish I had the courage to do it. I'm a pussy. I am. I'm like, I don't want to ruin someone else's whole thing. Like, it's like the same thing as when you, you know, if someone gave you a button was like, you press this button and someone across the world dies, you know? Some people are like, oh, I, I'm not fucking seeing it, you know? But for me, I have too much empathy. I care too damn much. No, I just, I, I don't like, if someone did that to me and I show, at the, I show up at the airport and Karen's not there to pick me up, I'd be pissed. I'd be like, what the fuck? Hey, is this Hannah? Uh, no, sorry, wrong number. I was in Kent, Ohio at the bar 157 lounge. Are you sure this isn't Hannah? Yeah, I'm a dude and I'm pretty sure my name isn't Hannah. She gave you a fake number, sorry. Fuck you! I got to hook up with two hot sorority girls last night. They were both super hot. You are probably at home jacking off because you're a loser. You wish you were like me, don't you? I get any girl I want. They beg for me. Ha 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 ha, fucking loser. Except Hannah, apparently. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, but you lost. I'm sorry, this guy fucking owned you. This guy owned you. Imagine getting a message like this from a random number. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I, I know as lame as this text is, this is kind of a crazy diss. You were probably at home jacking off because you're a loser. That is so, that hits so, that cuts so deep, truly. If I were to read that, I'd be like, fuck, man. <laughs> that, would make, that would ruin my day. That would ruin my day, especially from a, even from a number that I, I don't even know who's on the other end. Just, that would fucking ruin my day. You can't read that and not feel bad about yourself even a little bit even if it's not true actually probably even worse if it was true what if you did jack off the night before just by chance you know maybe you're not a big masturbator but maybe last night you were like i'm gonna crack some red wine you know home alone might as well toss on a porno film and crank my shit directly off and you did and maybe you're like and maybe maybe for once you didn't get that post nut clarity, you know? For once you were like, I don't really feel any shame. It's been a while. I'm glad I did that. I had to get I had to get my rocks off. That was kind of nice. A little bit of me time. And then the next day, just randomly, you get a text from a number you don't know that says you were probably at home jacking off because you're a loser. You'd be like, God, I he's right. I am a fucking loser. Re who drinks red wine and jacks off? That is sad. I need to find a romantic partner. What is wrong with me? I should be more like this dude. He's hooking up with hot sorority girls. What am I doing jacking off, drinking red wine, Pinot Noir, jacking off? Busting a fat nut and sipping my Sancerre. Pathetic. They beg for me. <laughs> Crazy text. They beg for me. I want to. I don't. Nobody begs for me. Fuck. Oh yeah, I'm sure he did that. Dude has the most sex. I. He probably does. I. I'm sorry, but this is an incredible text, and we all just got owned by reading it. Wow, we are having fun. Holy shit, that was awesome. <laughs> they beg for me. Oh my god. I'd be lying if I said this didn't make my day. Group message. So this person is randomly thrown into a group message. Hey ladies, I was wondering which one of your sons slept with my daughter. We are trying to figure out who the father is of the new baby. She thinks it's either Jack, Max, or Lucas. This is like the same group of friends. She's Louise. <laughs> Please ask them and let me know what they said. I will go ask Lucas, but I'm 99.9% .9 sure it was not him. I raised him well. If Hannah was pregnant, it would be either Max or Jack. He's always complaining about how she is sleeping with all these dr people when she gets drunk. So I wouldn't be surprised if it was someone from the party. I love that this woman's just like, com just completely just diss the other two moms. 
I don't even think she realized she did it. She's like, oh, no, it wasn't my son. I raised him well. It was probably one of their sons. Okay, thank you so much, Stacy, for letting me know. I would really appreciate it if you could ask your boys for me, Amber and Julia. It would really help me out. If it was none of your boys, I am so sorry that you had to hear about all of this. Jesus Christ, the spelling. So, wrong number here. I'm a guy in my 20s, and I'm only a parent to two cats. Good luck. Classic Redditor response right there. I am the man in my 20s with late two cats, and that's it. Who do we think it is? I think it was Jack. Maybe she should have jacked them off to the maximum and this wouldn't have happened. This is such a funny way to address this. Hey ladies, like hitting the group chat as if you're like hosting a brunch. Hey ladies, I just wanted to let you know that my daughter is pregnant and, it, and one of your sons is the father. So if you wouldn't mind just RSVPing at the link below, that'd be great. Mom wants you to call her. Who is this? Andrea. Wrong number and you got me in an unnecessary 30 minute conversation with my mother. So thank you for that. <laughs> No conversation with your mother is ever unnecessary. Hey, you know what? I agree with that. I agree with that. You should be thanking this person. Oh, you did, so thank you for that. You should be sincerely thanking this person. Cut it out with the attitude, all right? Cheeky little bugger. Call your mom. Talk talk to her for 30 minutes. She's, you probably made her day. You probably made her day. So thank you for that. Thanks for that. I had to talk to my mom for 30 minutes. She brought you into this world, you fuck. Okay, so this is from an Instacart shopper. <laughs> Okay. I don't have any money on me right now, honey. After the trip, they'll let me get a few bucks out, then two hours for the rest of the $27. If I had it right now, of course I wouldn't mind. Sorry, I meant to text wife. That's nuts that you're just in a completely different app and don't even realize it. But he's probably on the job and he's like fucking looking at the thing, trying to shop and he's, his wife texts him, hey, can you get this stuff? And he's like, I will, I, honey, I would love to. So I tipped $20 on a six item order and this felt like bait for cash. Oh, that's true, wait. Oh my God, what if it, what if he was doing that on purpose? What if this dude is just like, the, well, this, is, this is the biggest brain move I've ever seen actually. This is some manipulation, holy hell. It could have been better too. It could have been like, oh, I know, I know he's hungry. He's just a baby, but I don't have enough tip money <laughs> to buy the formula. <laughs> Something like that, you know? Really tug at the heartstrings. Babe, I know, I feel bad for him too. He's just a little puppy. I, I couldn't imagine having ass cancer as a little puppy, but I can't afford the pain meds for him. So he's just gonna have to sit there and whimper. Arr, arr, arr. He's just gonna have to send an audio message of it. Arr. I know, I, I wish I could do something, but I just, I don't have the money. That would absolutely get, I'd be fucking, I'd be texting, I'd be tipping thousands of dollars. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. This is genius though. If you work for DoorDash or Instacart or any of these delivery apps, do this. It probably works like in 80 to 90% of the time. When your son's GF accidentally texts you. Babe, I want to buy you a Brandy Love Fleshlight. Like, not for sure, but I just saw it and hot. This is Bo's mom. Oh God, I'm sorry. Lol. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, there's a chance. There's a chance the mom doesn't know what a Fleshlight is. I feel like if I... <laughs> If I told my mom, like, mom, I'm buying a Brandy Love Fleshlight, she'd be like, okay, great, honey, cool. What is that, like a reading light? Fleshlight is such a graphic name. Is it not flesh? The, wor the word flesh in anything just makes it like, ugh. Oh, it's a play on flashlight. I just put that together. <laughs> Wow, not a ton of IQ around here. Like she could have played it off. She could have been like, oh, I'm sorry. He keeps complaining about like taking the dog out at night. He doesn't have a flashlight. And he really likes Brandy Love. She's a singer. <laughs> he wanted a flashlight. I spelled it wrong. He wanted a flashlight with Brandy Love themed just decals on it, you know? Sorry, I'm a good girlfriend. You know, guilty as charged, take me away. Sorry for being a good GF to your son. Oh, that's so wonderful, honey. You, you're you so thoughtful. That's an easy out. You fucking expose yourself by saying, oh God, I'm sorry. Also kind of crazy, I haven't, I haven't really, I feel like I haven't really come across that many ladies that are into fleshlights. Am I incorrect? I would have to assume most ladies are kind of grossed out by like male sex toys. I don't know, maybe that's a, maybe, maybe that's a, judgment unwarranted but i that's my flashlights aren't the most like appealing things even to dudes it's like you know it's like ah oh, i'm gonna fuck that you know i like and then drain the cum out of it like want to go to starbucks and study soon oh and then they sent a screenshot of it help me reject this boy oh oh my god it's all right oh my god that is horrendous that is horrendous Help me reject this boy. What a fucking horrible response. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Happens all the time. 
I'll probably just jack off with some red wine tonight. Once again, nobody begs for me. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. There's no recovering from that. I mean, it could have been worse, actually. It could have been worse. Just help me reject this boy. He's not that bad. She could have been like, this dude is... This dude gives me the worst vibes or something like that. And then you'd be like, oh, fuck. There's no recovering from that. That would destroy you for at least a decade. At least. Help me reject this weirdo. What was the most embarrassing text message you've sent to the wrong person? My wife sent me a text message asking what I wanted for dinner. I forgot that we were having the family over for dinner that night. I sent her a pic of my gentleman veggies and asked her if she wanted that for dinner. I sent it to her entire family because I neglected to see that it was a group text. I thought about driving into oncoming traffic that night on my way home from work. See, this is why unsend is a thing now. Truly. That comment is from 11 years ago. I don't even think texting existed back then. Fucking, it's so crazy that there was a decade of that shit happening. People texting families pictures of their dicks by accident for them to invent unsend. 10 years, 11 years. Some executive at Apple probably did it. And then you're like, we gotta fix this shit. <laughs> it's, how have we not fixed this? It's been 11 fucking years. You're all fired. Hi Carrie, I'm Larissa. When are you free? Let's play golf together. Hello Kitson, finally ready to play with daddy? What? <laughs> what the fuck is that mask? <laughs> See, I feel like whenever you get a random text like this, it's always phrased. Like, it's always like impossible to discern what, what the situation was. How do they know each other? They don't, clearly. But like, what, what situation led up to this text? Hi Carrie, I'm Larissa. Introducing himself or her him or her, carrie i don't know introducing themselves to this person larissa and then immediately saying when are you free let's play golf so they know that the person plays golf so they've maybe met but why would they be introducing themselves then it's always that some shit like that and you're like what the fuck what's i've never sent a text like that in my life who are you what's your story i want to know you i want to write your story please you are a novel waiting to happen that's what I would have done. I'd be like, I would have been like, it's not Larissa, that's not me, but like, please tell me about yourself. <laughs> this is pretty good too though, honestly. Oh, it's a scammer? It's a scammer, I guess. So that whole rant was for nothing. But what scam is this? What scam are they running? Like, what did, what would this even lead to? Someone would be like, like, are you just hoping you get someone named Larissa? Maybe. But then you'd pick a more common name than Larissa. I don't know. Hey there, how was your week? Hey you, how are you? Hey there, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> hey mom, I just transferred $2,800 to your account. You should have told me sooner that you needed help. Text me when you get it. Love you. Wrong text, my bad. Oh, pathetic. That's just like a worse version of the Instacart one, to be honest. That is pathetic. What's your worst I sent this text to the wrong person story? Well, this new girl and I were just starting to date. We had been friends for years and had pretty good communication, but now we started asking each other more personal questions. One night we were taking turns via text back and forth until she asked me, somewhat ironically, what the most embarrassed I ever remember being was. I told her it was the time my ex-wife and I decided to try pegging, but at the particular toy store we went to, their strap-ons were locked in a glass case, so I had to go up to this big burly tattooed clerk and ask for help. Meekly I followed him back to the case and asked for a particular particular toy. I kind of squeaked it out and he said, dude, speak up. I don't care what you want, but I got to be able to understand you. But I didn't send that to my girlfriend. I sent it to a member of our gaming group that I was not super close to. Well, needless to say, most of my game group asked me about that moment next session. Listen, man, if one of my friends texted me and was like, hey, I've been getting pegged, I'd be like, good on you, man. Good on you. I'd be happy for him. Honestly, good on you. No, that's great. Cool. Those are uncharted waters for me personally, but I'm Happy that you're exploring them. Let me know how it is. If one of my friends texted me and said you were probably jacking off last night you, because you're a loser, I would die inside. But if one of my friends texted me and was like, really embarrassing thing happened at the sex store when I was act, when I was picking out which dildo my girlfriend was gonna peg me with, I'd be like, that is pretty embarrassing. Sorry. Let me know how the pegging is. Let me know how the pegging goes. Hey man, how was the pegging last night? How doth be thy pegging last night? What's Jazzy shoe size? Eight. Okay, thanks. Wow, you're the wrong number. Thanks, asshole. <laughs> Turns out she was a seven and a half, you fuck. Spent my entire allowance on those shoes. And they just barely don't fit her. I was getting ready to propose and almost had it all thought out. Then I sent my sister, GF won't be home from five to six, come by and we could do it then. Turns out I sent it to my GF and we broke up. She didn't even give me the benefit of the doubt. Well. Sounds like you dodged a bullet, honestly, because if you just explained what you were doing, she should have probably believed you. Hello, Dr. Bob, my puppy can't eat right now. Can you make an appointment for me? Great. <laughs> I'm already laughing at this. this is so fucked up. Create a hole in the puppy's neck with a butter knife and insert a tube. Then just pour food into the tube. <laughs> 
<laughs> we do it all the time in the office. It will save you the trouble of a visit and save you some money. That's fucked up. I mean, it's fucking hilarious, but it's so fucked up to send that on the odd, just off chance that they're actually gonna do that. What the fuck do you mean? Just bring the puppy into the office at nine tomorrow. We'll get it to eat. Are you the fucking idiot? Wow, that's a crazy way to say that. Are you the fucking idiot? Am I the fucking idiot? Are you the fucking idiot? Wow. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna start start right now. Are you the fucking idiot? I'm the doctor here, not you. <laughs> this is the funniest thing I've seen all day. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Create a hole in the puppy's neck with a butter knife and just pour food into the tube. You shouldn't have sent that, man. You don't know who's gonna receive, you don't know who this is. This could be a complete dolt on the other side of this. Who's gonna be like, oh, all right, the doctor fucking too. <laughs> You know? I broke her neck, buried her by the lake. Deep enough so them dogs can't sniff her body out. She went real peaceful, didn't suffer, I promise. About some sick rabbit I had to put down. Was supposed to send it to my cousin, the owner, but sent it to some girl I barely know. Needless to say, she was both scared and confused. <laughs> this is just good. That's just funny. Like, there's no way out of that, too. What are you gonna say? Oh, just about a rabbit. Then she'd be like, what? No, you are clearly a serial killer. The only thing you could reply to that is like, and you're next, you know? Like, you might as well just keep fucking with her at that point, you know? Ha <laughs> ha you're next! She's never gonna see you again ever, again anyways, so, you know? Might as well take it up a notch. You like legs? How do you feel about legs? You wanna go this weekend? Was playing L4D with some buddies and went to text one of them, cheater! Went to my girlfriend at the time, her reply, oh my God, I'm so sorry, I never meant for it to happen. Please don't leave me. Oh my God. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Hey, I mean, that's fortunate for you. Dodged a bullet. Hey brother, just wanted to reach out and say I miss you. It's been rough since you left. The selfish side of me is also mad at you. Wish you were here so I had someone to vent to. Hope you're having a blast on the other side. On the other side? Is this person dead? Um, hey, I'm sorry for whatever you're going through, but you've got the wrong number. Happy New Year? Sorry, looks like the number got repurposed. Haha, uh -huh. friend passed away and was having a reflecting moment. Ah. Oh. Fuck, man. And happy fucking New Year. Appreciate you and won't happen again. Ah, oh, man. That is a bummer. I was having a good time. This one now made me feel sad. Mm -hmm. If you plan on having no contact with this guy, maybe you could block his number so he can text his friend. That's a good idea. It soothes the soul. This may be important to him. Happy New Year's and well handled. That's a good idea. You should do that. Or, and I'm not saying, I'm not saying you do this. I'm not, I'm just saying it is an option that you could text him as the ghost of the guy but I'm, I'm not you should never you should not do that at all that is so fucked up but like you could like it is a it's something you could do in this you know i'm not saying do it you know psych i'm alive bitch no i'm kidding ah, no bad feel bad for saying that i feel horrible for saying that Dr. Larry, I'm Evelyn. How is my horse recovering? I'm sorry, he didn't make it. He's been rendered down into glue. Are you kidding me? <laughs> again, like, maybe this is a scammer again. I don't know, I don't wanna fall for that again, but like, if it wasn't, like, what the fuck? This person owns a horse and the horse is sick and she sent it to a guy named Dr. Larry, who's a horse doctor? What is your, I wanna, I wanna know about you. I need to write your story. Are you kidding me? He should have been like, nah, 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 I'm fucking around. He is dead, but he's not being rendered down into glue. I'm just, we're cremating him. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, well, maybe we should do a couple more. Ooh, ooh wait a minute. Text from Mr. YouTube. <laughs> Let's see what that says. Wrap it up. This video is getting pretty long. You were probably jacking off last night, you fucking loser. Oh. It's not very nice. Guys, thanks for watching. Please hit like on this video if you jacked off last night so I know how many of you are fucking losers and I will see you in the next YouTube video that I do. <laughs> and post, of course. Goodbye.